Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at 2021 AMC 12B problem 14. It says let ABCD be a rectangle and DM be a segment perpendicular to the plane of ABCD. Suppose that DM has integer length and the lengths of MA, MC, and MB are consecutive odd positive integers. We want to find the volume of pyramid MACD. So let's go ahead and draw a diagram as you should be doing for most of these problems. So I'm just going to draw our perpendicular DM. So this is D, this is M, and then we have points A, B, and C. And this is an interesting problem because of the consecutive odd term. Like we don't know exactly what it is, but we just know that they're consecutive odd numbers. So we have to assign it some variable. So let's say our odd numbers are t minus 2, t, and t plus 2. So we know that ma is the smallest of them, so ma is t. Sorry, it seems that I've mislabeled this. This should be b and then a. So ma is the smallest of these, so it should be 2. And then mc is the next one, so mc is going to be t, and then mb is going to be t plus 2. So we have these lengths now, and we also know that md is some integer, and let this be d. And let's let side AD be A, and let's let side DC be B. And we know that DB is going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared because this is a rectangle and corners are 90 degrees. So now that we have all of these different lengths, we can write out some equations. Because we know DM is perpendicular, we have that when we look at triangle MAD, we get a squared plus d squared equals t minus 2 squared, which is t squared minus 4t plus 4. If we look at triangle MDB, we'll see that a, the square root of a squared plus b squared squared, which is just a squared plus b squared plus d squared is equal to t plus 2 squared, which is t squared plus 4t plus 4. When we, when we look at triangle MDC, we'll see that b squared plus d squared equals t squared. So now we have these equations, and what we want to do is find out what a, b, d, and t are. But we only have three variables and three and four variables and three equations, so that's a little bit difficult. So what we want to do is first add this equation and this equation and subtract this equation to find d squared. Th that gives us that d squared is equal to t squared plus t squared minus 4t plus 4 minus t squared plus 4t plus 4, which is t squared minus 8t. So now we can plug in our value of d squared to find a squared and b squared. So we know a squared is equal to t squared minus 4t plus 4 minus d squared, which is t squared minus 8t. And that gives us that a is 4t plus 4. Similarly, b squared is t squared minus d squared, which is t squared minus 8t. So we know that b squared is 8t. So now we are going to use the fact that d squared is a square. We can rewrite t squared minus 8t as t minus 4 squared minus 16, and this is equal to d squared. So because this is a square and this is a square, we know that the difference between these two is 16, and the only two squares who have a difference of 16 is 9 and 25. So that tells us that d is equal to 3, and t minus 4 is equal to 5, so t equals 9. So now that we have these values, we can plug them in to find a, so we have a is 4 times 9 plus 4, which is 40, and b is 8 times 9, which is 72. Now we just use our volume of a pyramid, and that's going to be 1 third times our height, which is d, so that's 3, times the area of our base, which is ab, and we know a is the square root of 40, and b is the square root of 72. So this is going to be our volume. Our threes cancel out, and from this expression, we can 
get that it's 8 times 3 times the square root of 5, which is 24 root 5. And that's going to be our answer, which is part option choice A. So just to quickly summarize what we did in this problem, we assigned values to our side lengths and let them be A, B, D, and T. Then we wrote equations based on our fact that these were perpendiculars. And then we solved for D squared by using our equations and then expressed A squared and B squared all in terms of T. Then we used the fact that D squared was an integer. And from here, we were able to get that d equals 3 and t equals 9, and then we plugged it all in to our volume formula to find that the volume was 24 root 5. So in general, in these kinds of problems, you want to take the information you're given and set up a system of equations of some kind, especially in this case when you have all these perpendiculars and these consecutive odd positive integers. Although it seems like daunting, you just have to assign them variables like we did here, and that'll help simplify the problem. Thanks for watching!